Those of you who chase white bass know how deadly it is to fish a fly. In this video, I'm going to show you how I tie my white bass flies. But before we get started, let's go ahead and cover some of the equipment you're going to need. You're going to need a vise. You will also need a whip finisher to tie off the head of your fly. You're going to need a bobbin and your choice of thread. The thread that I went with is hot pink. There's nothing special about it. It is on the cheaper side, I would have to say. But for this application, it works perfectly fine. Flashaboo is completely optional. I know a lot of guys who fish without it, but in my case, I wanted to add a little flash in my flies. So I'm going to add it. You're going to need some cement bonding glue to seal your head once you're done tying. Deer here comes in all sorts of colors, but up here in my area, the go-to color is hands down dark purple. The hooks that I am using are from Eagle Claw. Number 4 Aberdeen Light Wire Hooks. Last but not least, you're going to need a good pair of scissors. We're going to first start out by clamping our hook onto our vise. I want to start wrapping at the top of the hook shank, right behind the eye, and work my way down towards the barb. I'll go ahead and take my scissor and clip off this extra tag. Once I'm down to the barb, I'll make my way back up the shaft, back towards the eye. Next, I'll attach my flashaboo. So with the flashaboo, I want to cut off around 3 inches. I'll go ahead and pinch a small portion of what I need, and then I'll go ahead and clip it right off. This will add a nice flash to the fly. Next, I will take the flashy buoy and place it right behind the eye on top of the hook shaft. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it, make sure that it is aligned correctly. I'll make two loose wraps around the tip of it. Once it's in the proper place where I want it, I'll go ahead and cinch it down and continue to make a few wraps to secure it onto the hook shaft. Next comes the deer hair. This process pretty much is very similar to uh, the same process as applying the flashaboo. Basically what I want is a pinch full of the hair. And I'm looking at right around 3 inches. Once I have the consistency and length that I want, I'll go ahead and clip it off. I'll go ahead and gently just tug on the hair here just to make sure that I'm pulling off some of the shorter hairs. And I'll go ahead and clip off the end so it's nice and even. Once I have my hair cut, I'm going to place the hair right on top of the shaft, right next to the eye. I'm going to make two loose wraps around it, make sure that everything is aligned correctly where I want it. And then I'm going to cinch it down and continue to make even wraps to cover the entire head. Now that I have made my wraps, I'm going to take my whip finisher and tie off my head. This process is a little confusing at first, so it takes patience and a little trial and error. But basically you want to put it in at least 4 to 5 loops, cinch it down, and then cut off your thread. And now the final step. Taking your cement glue and applying a even coat of glue on the head of your fly. 
The glue was seeped through through the thread. This will strengthen the head of your fly. Well, that's basically it. This is a very simple fly to tie. And those of you who has been chasing white bass around, you know that this is a killer fly to use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. But give it a shot. Tie your own flies and get out there and slay them. Good luck fishing, guys.